towards, not. Did not towards the end they did a lot of the more CGI but I mean even just beyond that there's not a lot of like big filming not a lot of super huge yeah that's what I'm saying there's, there's not no... there's not really a lot of that going on so um, they, they saved money they, they made that their tentative project their, uh, especially because uh, they had just done not just done well when they planned Shazam they had still just done well on Wonder Woman no it's just two would say Wonder Woman did good as well Aquaman and then now uh, Joker pretty much as soon as they stopped listening to Zack Snyder who would have guessed right <laughs> God forbid. But well, yeah. there's, there's, um, he keeps, um, posting things of like that, that the actual, his, his version exists out there because he even took a picture of the, yeah, the film reel. It's and too bad he doesn't own the so rights many, to it and isn't allowed to publish know, it. There's so many people, they're like, we want to see it. I mean, so we can tell I'm that it's garbage. I'm kind of curious just I'm to sure see, like, honestly, like is, what his version was. I guess here's the thing it's probably more version. cohesive because it's his version. Yeah, and then nobody um, just jumped right in in the middle. And, yeah. I still think it's probably garbage, um, yeah. because he's once again taking characters who aren't meant to be super dark and making them super dark. Um, they're just not meant to be that way. It's cool to see him that way in Elseworlds and dark multiverse stories and like when they're being controlled by a villain. That's not who Wonder Woman or Superman or even really Batman is at their core. At their core, they are like the embodiment of like American truisms like hope and truth mm -hmm. and uh justice you know what i mean with uh the with all three of them taking one of those superman being hope wonder woman being truth batman being justice and you can apply that to other comic book characters but dc has very much always been the embodiment of that they're classic from the 40s they're super big on that and i think i i mean i can say i think i have proof pretty much now that it was Zack snyder's being the common bad denominator he is the reason those music movies didn't do very well and you can see that because they just did a dark movie mm -hmm. with a dark character the joker and one of them go on the globe probably gonna win an oscar you know what i mean and wh whether or not i agree with those decisions that i do agree that was a great movie yeah and that they should continue doing movies like that or at least with that level of professionalism and detail they didn't treat that movie like a superhero movie they just treated it like a movie I think too that he wasn't um i guess that director wasn't like you know held to Who the was content the director um, it was um oh, right so that is it's like no, yeah i remember was, he he didn't really give no like he, i don't know but the thing the is he's never he didn't even want to do uh yeah because he expressed that he yeah didn't which want to is do it. which is cool and fine and he directed it like it wasn't a super yeah, that's what, that's what i'm kind of glad they got um, somebody that didn't know what they they were just going to do something different in their own version and yeah. said this is what I want to. Having do. said that, I think that's also one of the reasons why, even though it's doing well in many critical circles, like it's very half and half in many comic circles. Like I see half and half. Like some people hate it, some people like it. It's yeah. very much like, and once again, because it does not follow the classic Joker yeah, story, that's, which is that's fine. It. And I think that people bitching about that should just get over it because they told us it was going to be that way. Yeah. At the same time, that doesn't mean they have to like the movie, but I think they're viewing it through the incorrect, an incorrect lens. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's the same way. Like, I really like that movie, and I look at it through the lens of what it is, its own original take on the Joker. Mm -hmm. Basically saying what, the, what would the Joker be like in a post-modernism society kind of where it's capitalism and, yeah. uh, you know what I mean, did, uh not just um, capitalism but nepotism i guess you could say in a way the the absence of no you know focusing on you know mentally ill people yeah that I mean, also that was, is that a big a, mental it, it, thing i think there's a part of that the problem is though he had like there and there was a part where they're cutting but like he had uh help like they don't address that that he had help at the start of that Granted, yeah. maybe people weren't listening right, and he wasn't getting the exact help he needed, mm -hmm. but he was getting help, and he just wasn't doing very well anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think people aren't noticing that, like, yes, the reason he becomes the Joker is because he loses his help, amazing, but they were helping him. Oh, he yeah. was getting free help, it sounds like, because he couldn't afford to get it otherwise, mm -hmm. or at least he was getting discounted help, which is a good thing and should happen, and obviously, like I said, they're showing this level of, like, decayingness of gotham going down that path mm -hmm. of like all right and it really is a comment on capitalism in general I double check it i nearly put it on the wrong i gotta make sure to see the uh oh, make sure you're listening yeah, oh, looks like i hear me 
this I'm time. sure they do. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure uh, that we, if we see the comments. If there are any. Um, I haven't seen anything so far. I don't think there are either. I just gotta really make sure. Oh, and general. bam. And bam. Now we can see the comments. That's all good. And yeah, there's there's a lot going on with it. I will say what I am excited for this year, though, and I put it even so much so that I put it in the title, is, uh, and even not just Birds of Prey, but all the female f movies coming out in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and series. You got Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman, Black Widow, uh... WandaVision, I count as that. It's not this year, but it's coming. Oh, the TV show, yeah, it's, yeah. It's supposed to come out, I think, next year, right? I think it's about 2021 or 2022. They're all coming out pretty quick, except for Hawkeye. Did you hear that? Yeah, I yeah. that one. We'll see. I wonder what that's about. We'll see. Maybe it's just they... You never know. Maybe they just want to rearrange some things. So I'm wondering maybe if they, they maybe... want to do that one just yet first. Yeah. Then, uh, I think we'll... maybe they felt the waters out with that, and then didn't feel the love for it and pulled back maybe i don't know we'll see the other I thing mean, is really... i think they did ronin and now nobody wants old hawkeye oh they yeah. just want badass <laughs> well it's like yeah because i get no mercy i am well that's what i'm curious well, but they have done they were the when they have continued you think after all of i that? don't I don't know, but that being my whole from what point, I was now hearing is that he, he was supposed to be training like a new the new Avengers, Kate, yeah, the West Bishop Avengers, probably and everything. And... Right, which is so weird too because they have it that being his actual daughter in this one. You notice that, right? Yeah, I was supposed to. Was that her name though? Was yeah, her name Kate? Kate. Kate. Was it yeah, Kate? Okay, listen, I thought so. I think so. I mean, let, let's I can't double remember. Check. It's always good to double check these facts. You never want to be false on stream because people will yell at you. <laughs> um, but. Oh, guys, daughter. And then, um... Endgame. Yeah, that's about it, huh? For right now. For female... Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I thought it was a different name. I swear there's another one, though. Didn't he have two kids? No, it's was that one, and then some... The boy. The boy, yeah. The boy. The boy. <laughs> boy! Which... Have you heard so, anything about the sequel to that at all? I haven't heard it. Oh, to God of War? Yeah. Because they're supposed to be doing more. that they were not going to be using Kratos again. Oh, no. They're like, absolutely using Kratos again. I don't again. know. I they've, they've already talked about and not released any spoilers. Whereas, leaks, um, but they've already talked about supposed making... supposed to be going the, the Vikings now, right? Either Vikings or Egypt. Those are the two choices they're using. What? No, they talked about Egypt in the last one, right? At the very end. They talked about it, but they Both didn't do it. Do they talk both about Vikings? But that, no, but that's both? what I'm saying is that those are the two talks of what they might be going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hinted but at the Vikings, just... but they didn't really cover it. The other thing being is Viking lore. Well, as I said, did they even hint? I thought they hinted at Egyptians too at the very end. Well, yeah, that's why I was saying. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they could, yeah, I would like, like to. I said, they very much set him up and they've been it's talking been about it. It's been a while since played, so. so. You know one thing that actually hasn't come out that I, I actually have to check and see what happened with it? But and it's a dumb show. I shouldn't even mention it on here because people hate it every time I mention it. But uh, Squidbillies. I don't watch Squidbillies every once in a while. There's a few. They're the not thing all is, that great. There's a few the gems thing is, here and there. There are a few gems. I will say that you you have to look at it through the lens of exactly what it is, which is satire. Yeah. And so, like, some of the best and, like, funniest slash most... And that's the stupidest thing to say, but most intelligent jokes come out of this. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's so stupid and it's making fun of itself. So, like, I remember there's one where he's just, like, got the Confederate flag and he's, like, the biggest Confederate flag in the state. And I'm, and I'm going to piss on this American flag. And he's, like, why would you do this? This is your right to do this. He's, like, it's my right as American to do and say what I want, even if it's blatantly un-American. <laughs> you know, like, it's super. You know, my favorite one was asked to, it's, I think it was probably one of the early early episodes is the the chicken one where they're chicken. doing the the music they oh kinda... the dancing bird yeah and they were like they which is so funny because that one is the they... one of the ones that is just the retarded episode with no context I, or jokes I, in it I, that, that one just gets no and some of those ones are the great ones just like, uh. they just were because they were using their their they were using their their farts to like do like wishes right for anything to happen or it was that? like it was but it was like supposed it wasn't like wishes it was like some gene therapy it was like all right, I want to fix my acne. Oh, bam. And then yeah, he's like, grow my hair. Was, bam, yeah, I got a new hair. Was, yeah. He was like, boom, clips in your face. Yep. And then um, they, they kept... Uh, my favorite part is when they would like turn on the music. He's like, we're going to be hung for these things. And then I'm like, oh my God. He's like, I can't so help it. Get down with the jams. Yeah, that's no, what it was. Yeah. It, was uh, it was funny. What's up, That's uh, probably my favorite ones out of all of them. 
my my favorite one that is not like based on like I said those underlying jokes or silly things like that where there are really actually like I said I got one of my exes really into it for no stupid reason. Yeah, I mean they they're, they're... They're good, like I said, a couple episodes here and there. Yeah, but the one, my favorite episode is he meets the alien, and they just, like, run into, that and they just, basically, he meets, like, this alien, because the alien, like, crashes his spaceship into his house, and the alien's basically a drunk, too. Oh, nice. He's a violent drunk, and so they just go around <laughs> crashing into people's just, fucking, oh my gosh. it's <laughs> so funny, dude, it's, stu- you wanna go there? We can go there. Yeah, we've already gone there before, twice today. <laughs> we will go there. Oh. Well, so um, I, I mean, what's so comic wise with uh, what did you read that a little bit? Nothing? God, this week I think I don't think I've read crap. I've been so busy. I would, I did uh, I started doing other stuff on one on the gaming channel, but also on here. God, I didn't get to it this mm. week too. I wanted to do a comic video breakdown, but man, finding the time for it is mm. rough at times, especially just doing these ones. Like even today, might have to cut short just because we ended up yeah, starting a fine. little later. But uh. No, I mean, it, they're, the one I checked this week, I think, was uh, I think X-Men. It's either X-Men or number DC, four. right? I think they did number four last week. Yeah, that's last no. week. No. What was it that they came out this week, then? Let's see. I read... Oh, it was Batman. Batman finished. So they did They did the whole no, Batman versus Batman's Jamie dad. Tillian. Yeah, um, than that. I actually like him though because he's doing that one book I was talking about. No, I mean, that, killing the if, children. Yeah, th- there's a lot of good. Like everybody's really happy with the switches coming to DC. I guess there's a lot of people not yet happy with Tom. I mean, they I didn't kinda... like Tom King and they didn't like uh, Scott Slater. Bendis. No, oh, Bendis. He did. They love Slater? Scott. No, he was doing Superman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we so go. they were there we really go. not he's happy still with doing either, it, right? Those. Yeah, but not. We'll see how much longer he's doing Superman because a lot you of you know. Honestly, aren't happy I can't. Like, I thought I already knew it wasn't going to be a good matchup. I thought it was doesn't... great. He did such a good job in expanding think... the mythos. Bro. Really? Okay. Well, it was that's part. Good. It was partially a uh, part of. I just uh, feel like you know the characters that he's come up with. You know, so I far think that his on this those... grand year of like... I think they're. Oh, dude, you haven't seen his. Uh, what else has he done? Oh. Yeah. Rogo Zar is his original creation, and he's what, yeah. No, no, that's I what I'm saying. Yeah, that's my... the first thing that he did when he did the yeah, for Superman, Superman, right? That's yeah. and that's what he's famous for. Bendis is famous for creating, creating new, new characters. characters. That's what yeah. I know, but I, I which is curious. why I'm all right with it. And then he tied it in in a really interesting way. Hmm. In that, all right, like yes, Krypton was destroyed, but it's actually Rogo Zar who destroyed Krypton, not like random planetary misguidance. And then they tie it in. It's like, all right, well, we thought Jarrell warned him. Well, he did. Jarrell was warning him about Robo's R. And then it's like I said, they're still kind of leading into his background and all this other stuff. But just the feats and the way his character is not just like displayed. Although he does look awesome. I mean, the half burnt face and the weird white skin with the axe and shit. I can't remember him just vaguely. He looks insane. But like I said, it's the way he's portrayed by Bendis in like the overall cosmology, like. He's like sits on a council where he's talking to the guardians of the universe and the specter and people like that. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, well, this is what's going on in the universe. And Robo is like, I don't give a sh- what you say. I'm going to do what I want. Fuck y'all. And then that's literally it. Then there's like one where he's like, there's like a war with the Tamaranians, right? They're fighting someone. And the Tamaranians are like famous in DC for being like this war culture. They're like insanely fearless. They'll fight anyone. They they live to c- fight and die. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, it's like, what's that? Oh, sh- it's Rogozar. Run, bitch, run! It's Rogozar. And so it's just like one of those impactful ones where he's displayed and talks the quotes too. The way he's written with mm-hmm. the dialogue. Uh, there's one I put. It's in the list. Probably not coming out till way later this year. But uh, it's a Rogo's R quote from when he's in the Phantom Zone and like Superman comes up to him. He's like, why do you do this? And he's like, let's not diminish what you and I know about each other with words. I think you know in your heart that there's nothing you can do or say that'll stop me from my quest to kill you. And you know there's nothing you can do to stop me from killing you and then going on to kill everybody else who's Kryptonian in the galaxy. <laughs> it's like, he's just like, he's like, you just, you're fucked, bro. It's like, fuck you and what you say. I don't care. I'm Rogozar and I'm going to murder you. <laughs> and then I'm going to murder every planet you've ever been on. Everybody you've ever loved. Because of you. <laughs> it's like, and then just like I said, this, the random Kryptonian hate makes him good. 
Having said that, I mean, there are some side parts, just like with pretty much every comic, mm-hmm. where it's like, what's going on here? But, or like where it didn't tie in to continue to you that was going on, so it kind of got left in the wake because they did that whole Perpetua and Year mm-hmm. of the Villain and Doom versus uh, Doomsday Clock and then Doom versus Justice. That there was, there was too much going on. Basically, the same problem Marvel had with all the events and bullshit going on, DC had last year, mm-hmm. I feel like, and going into this year, just, like, too much bullcrap going on. Nobody was on the same page. Too many events, crosses, like, it was just all around the same way. And see, the thing is, I, I just don't... I don't know if they don't know if that, like, you know, their readership will, if really wants to read everything you're going to put out there because they want to know what's going on. And the, then the what really is, sucks is that, like I said, then... I think it's better when they do it in this, like I said, that's why I like some of the ways Marvel does it. I think they still do too much in that they do these side comics. Yeah, but... And they should be, com- but they should be comics that are non-essential. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say, that, do you think Marvel thinks that they know that, like, they only know, like, okay, maybe there's only a certain people that want to read just Spider-Man. I think they're, they're going to just, just read the Spider-Man crossover shit. Know. But then they don't think, like, hey, yeah, but they really like the Spider-Man. They really want to read the Avengers and know what the hell's going on with their shit. So they're going to read all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, but then they yeah. really want to read Venom, too. And so, but they're going to read all the absolute think, carnage. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, they need to remember, one, the stories shouldn't just cross over because, right? Yeah. Like, when you have the worldwide things it's a little and i'm glad they do them because back in the day it was the exact opposite way where you would have this worldwide crisis in somebody's comic and then you're like well where the where are the avengers and the defenders and all the other 15 teams that defend earth and why are why is just this one hero or just this one group uh-huh. of heroes dealing with this and now it's the opposite it's like why is everybody got to be in everybody else's book and everybody else's uh event i think they need to make it more dynamics so like when you do a crossover make it so that you know kind of what the way they did with annihilation wave and civil war because those were some of the better crossover events of the time mm-hmm. even though they were huge i mean those have some of the most tie-ins you know what i mean of any event ever period uh civil war's got like 146 different tie-in issues or something yeah there's a lot it's a lot it's a huge event but it's also a lot of is like one of the best events to ever come out of marvel you know what I mean? Because they did it right in that you had all these characters and all these things, but it wasn't everybody. Like, all the space stuff was doing Annihilation yeah. at that time. And so they had a whole nother different event. But it And because of that, you could, like, choose. You know what I mean? You could, like, pick, I'm going to this event or this event. And in addition, even though, like, the event was going and it influenced the world, so the story was when... It wrote into their personal story as well, and it was planned so that it was like this whole universe-changing thing. It wasn't kind of like how Absolute Carnage has been, unfortunately, in that like it's something big that does have a change later, but it's not like a long-lasting change. It happens fairly quickly, and it's not a paradigm-shifting change. You're not seeing the effects of this like ripple out hugely in real time with like. You know, like, with Civil War, you had these levels of, like, are you at the Stanford Massacre, and then you went into, like, the Protocols and the, the mm-hmm. Accords, and then you went into the Resistance and the fight, and then the death of uh, Goliath, which sparked, like, real rebellion and real, you know what I mean? And this all took place over, I want to say, like, a year and a half or two years mm-hmm. for that event, which is the other thing. is like, if you're going to do a big event, do it over time. You know what I mean? A very slow kind of burn where it's like, yes, this is that War... Like, War of the Realms did that decently, but once again, just too many tie-ins with their own sets of books as well. That's the other thing, is I don't, don't think... Don't... If you're going to do a series, do one main series, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Civil War, 1 through 10. Then do tie-ins, but don't do sub-series. Don't do War of the Realms Frost Giants, and War of the Realms uh, Delta Force Strike, and War of the Realms... You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I liked those books, but it was a lot of secondary comics in addition to the tie-ins, in addition to the non-essentials, in addition to... is a lot of shit, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just full of it, but that's <laughs> that's that's what I think they, that could be. I don't know, because then it's spread out more. 
it's more natural mm -hmm. and it gives like a more meaningful long-lasting impact to the universe you know what i mean civil war is something that happened now it's it, same with the uh scroll invasion coming right after it honestly all of the events that stemmed in that five-year period that like led into each other granted they were big and, and grasping and they had little pieces in between them where they were sagas but they're permanent now you know what i mean that's part of the marvel like history landscape the same way that the Kree skull war, scroll war is part of the landscape the same way that uh avengers versus x-men and avengers versus inhumans mm -hmm. are part of the landscape they're just kind of like tied in now they they did affect the universe at large less so avengers versus inhumans but and avengers versus x-men i guess they're both kind of like side side I'm trying to think of older events that did stuff like that where it was like this event that's like set in Marvel time. Oh, Infinity Wars. Duh. Oh, yeah. They're, they're set. You know what I mean? Those After that, there are no amount of reboots that remove that. That's always going to be in Marvel continuity from mm -hmm. now on. You know what I mean? Same with like... Well, you know who has the new, the, new, uh, the new stone, right? Oh, no. It's a uh, star... Mm. oh that's right the new character yeah, yeah. from uh yeah she came out in the, the new volume of captain marvel she first i think came out like issue two she was like a reporter but we, yeah we had talked about it and then she's gotten powers and isn't she getting her own series she, or i already read the first issue yeah she came out uh, yeah. last week. i mean it looks interesting i think i still have to go check out naomi too that one was good i yeah. love Naomi. i like how she sh like i like her character i feel like once again she's she reminds me of um the new miss marvel in that I don't feel like she's like relatable for me, so like I don't think I'm ever yeah. gonna read that many stories. And I think it, no, the more of what it was, what was people were, like when it was first came out was just the mystery of who she was. I think it is, and 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 honestly, like reading her character, her character is enjoyable. Like she's very like uh, naive and like yeah. optimistic. well, they're in this town too that nothing really happens until now until she's right like, right so then she's like like you said it's very much like naive and and the panels oh my gosh like when her they, writing is good. yeah well when you when you read it and then you just get then as soon as it gets to the next panel just that big like those open oh, are they like, doing sequences nice. yeah i like those i gotta you read when you read it be like oh yeah this is cool as soon as you turn boom it gets right into the i said and for me i think the big issue is going to be finding character or stories that are relatable and the problem is that i feel like a lot of comics aren't written for girls or women young girls yeah. or women but they should be and I mean, they should be enjoyed when they should be, can kind of be in that she's area. probably the only one though or I, squirrel girl yeah squirrel. Too. and both of those are recent because i read i still read grandpa because i just because i can't do the, Grandpa. I, you know the, she's actually uh part of the uh x-men uh yeah thing now going on yeah because she went back and made herself a mutant I, I I heard. Don't don't get me wrong. I keep read, up. I just don't it. like the character. I think it's a bad character. Well, she didn't know she was a mutant. She's yeah. It was she kind of just. It's one of those things. Yeah, she's. I like she, her character. I don't like her character. <laughs> I don't like her character. But I don't like Squirrel Girl either. So I think I just don't like those characters in general. Those like, like quirky, poppy characters yeah, are not my. Cool with me. Especially when they're uh, Nancy Sue's, and that's why I don't like when her or uh, Squirrel Girl too. Is because they're just like. Really really stupid powers too for much. i just read her because i don't know i do like her character yeah after reading a couple of already volumes of I've, her now i've read a squirrel girl stuff oh don't i like don't her. really read her stuff no i've i've read her and Gwenpool. just don't like them yeah don't like the characters don't like the way they're written don't like their origins it's just funny because the rest of the west coast avengers i think are hilarious mm -hmm. or not the west coast the uh great lake avengers mm -hmm. i think they're awesome except her she's a, she just like i guess i think it's that character type the nancy sue poppy characters annoy the shit out of me uh who's another one of those uh ari not is it aria or aurelia from uh dr slump from makira toriyama is the same way you ever heard of her mm -mm. never seen her or kari she shows up in one of the episodes of dragon ball super i'm not trying to talk about that one she's like a little robot girl she's got like purple hair and a hat wings on it where is her name mm -hmm. let's see let's see if i can find a picture you might not know her 
She's like I said, she's from the manga that Akira Toriyama made before say, Dragon I Ball don't Z. Remember her showing up in? Oop. Yep, she's in Super and Dragon Ball Z actually. Yeah, I remember and Dragon Ball. Show there a couple of times. Arale, that's her name. Arale. Yeah, I've seen her maybe a couple of times. She's the reason she's funny is she's a comic character and she's a joke character, but because of oh, that, that's that one that was the the cartoon character, right? That yeah. came out of the comics or whatever. Yeah, supposedly. she's from his original manga. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And he had an oh, anime. That's cool. I don't, I, you know, I actually. I don't like her. Yeah, see, I don't really. Those don't really bother me. I yeah, like she's I, like she's those. one of the and like I said, that's why I like. She's a Nancy Sue, so like she'll come in even in Dragon Ball Super. She's like, she just beats the shit out of Goku and Vegeta because it's that's her well, character. I know, yeah, because she's just a cartoon. Yeah. So that's why I mean that's kind of funny to me. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm just like that's stupid. That's it's like that's fine, but that's not the the way I like those characters written because then there's no point. They're a protagonist with unlimited power and no stakes. Mm -hmm. So why do I care? Like, Deadpool at least has stakes. Like, yeah, he doesn't die, but he doesn't get his mission accomplished or fulfilled. He has, like, things. Literally, Gwenpool and I feel like Squirrel Girl and Arlie are the same way. Like, it really doesn't even matter what happens. Even if everybody in their, like, whole thing died, they'd still be a cheery character. Mm. They'd still be, like, they one, that would then they'd find a way to Nancy Sue them all back to life. And then... <laughs> Well, that's why that's the whole point of the whole character. Yeah, that's, and I, that's, like I said, and I just don't like the trope. Like yeah. that is just not funny. Same, that's the same thing. I don't like One Punch Man. Yep, yeah, because same. he's the same way. But yeah, he's in least, the, but that but he they, makes fun of that trope, and, and that's the why I like him is he like makes him, fun of that trope. They take themselves too serious to make fun of that trope. That's like why I, I can't take them serious. That's like, this one not at supposed least, to. It's supposed to be a joke. Those ones. That's why I don't like these ones. Is they're they know they're being no. That's why I don't like these. They they it's the exact opposite. But that's just. Each, these each are they own, though, put right? these to be serious that <laughs> you know? all of one punch man is a but joke making again, fun of that again to each their own like, so i mean i just like find it funny because like i said one punch man is literally a parody of yeah. these but characters i mean i still don't like one punch man <laughs> well i think that's why it's because you like these characters and it makes fun of them yeah that's why though like i said if i <laughs> like, like everyone them, I like has them. different ones right but yeah. that's why you don't like him is because you like these characters yeah, that's fine and me. i don't like these characters but i like him so it's the exact mm -hmm. opposite. But yeah, that, like I said, it's the, it's the other way. He doesn't take himself seriously. That whole uh, that whole manga series is even billed as satire and parody. Yeah. I, yeah. That's like I said. I watched one episode. I was like, nope. Turn it yeah. off. Trash. <laughs> it just has such amazing ratings and beats most other anime. It's crazy. Even except for the new series doing its one, besides like Black Clover or Demon Slayer, anyone that's not like the top five, its numbers beat everybody else. Well, that's fine. Still and trash it, to me. That's, <laughs> that's how I feel about Squirrel Girl and Gwenpool, and their so, numbers and pretty much. I, do I the think same. Demon Slayer and those ones should be top because those ones are actually yeah way better. Well, it is the Demon Slayer still beats out One Punch Man for sure. Right. That one's, but uh, that one's that's good. the same reason why that uh, one's good. That that's the same reason why Gwenpool time. doesn't get good number of sales either. That's fine. <laughs> or Squirrel Girl, she gets decent, but once again, I think they're playing to that crowd of so my that's cool every one. day. <laughs> that's, so right, anything so that's, that comes out, I still get it. Yeah. <sighs> they're being way loud downstairs, but yeah, that's that's why those characters, satire characters, will always never be on top of the list they're always like uh what's the anime version of that uh jintama have you seen jintama mm -hmm. you wouldn't like it because <laughs> it's the same as one punch man it just makes fun of dragon ball z and one piece and naruto every episode he's like a different character so like the next episode he's like a delivery guy and suddenly he's pulled into soul reaper society but he needs to put on a cloak you just see him he's funny but he's he's basically the uh, satire version of anime, where he just makes fun of every other anime, hmm. and that's his anime. Which is also why I don't really like Jintama, because he's one of those characters that doesn't have a plot at all. So he, which is so funny, because that remind it's kind of like Family Guy, but I like Family Guy, but I think it's because once again just different mediums i guess like family mm -hmm. guy is like uh satire on like life as opposed yeah. to like a satire on a style, style yeah what 
But then there's other ones too. But I haven't checked it out yet. So what's that one? Orwell by uh, the same guy. Have you seen? Have you heard of it? Orwell. Yeah. Mm-mm. What's that one about now? Uh, it, it's basically uh, Seth MacFarlane's. Oh, you Star about Trek. The Star Trek one. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I it thought was it was like Ar- Star Trek. Orville, with... Orville or something. Orville. Orville. Yeah, not Orwell. Orville. Okay. But is it Orville? It's I heard Orville. people like that one actually. It that one is, but it, once again, it's like a sat- satire one, so it's it's that half and half. Like a lot of people my like it. Friends said he watched it. And... My <laughs> my dad loves it. It's it. got two. I think it actually is. It either is getting another season or it got canceled. I can't tell. Uh, it's got two seasons I it was so far. Get another one. I really hope it would because it's. Was it's on Sci-Fi or on Netflix? And he's Fox on it, isn't he? He's in. The yeah, captain. he's the main character. He's the captain. He's always. That's how he works. That's how he gets work. Is he? Is he? That, I mean, but am I wrong though? Name me. Name me Seth, a Seth MacFarlane no, role there. where he no, is not the producer. Always, always there. But not just that. Name me like where. Oh, what whoa. else does he do besides his own projects? Name me <laughs> one role. Nothing. And no offense to him, I, I I think he's a great voice actor and a great oh, performer. Oh yeah, he's got that unique. Oh yeah. Uh, but just name me one thing. I'm sure he's in it, but I don't know him from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure he even does stuff outside, but I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Is it gonna get another season? But I heard that one's really good. But it's basically just Star Trek with blackjack and hookers. Yeah. Make my own Star Trek with blackjack and hookers. Ah, you know what? Screw the whole thing. Has re- Fox okay? Fox is where it's at. It has a third season that's scheduled to air on Hulu oh. in late 2020. So it's a Hulu uh, exclusive. That's why. I thought I don't even know they were Hulu exclusive. I knew they weren't on TV. Hmm. I just didn't know where they were streaming. Most stuff now, most of the good stuff nowadays isn't on TV. I have to say, I don't know when was the last know, that's TV what sucks, show though nowadays because if you want something, you have to go to that streaming service. To... Yeah. But that's for everything. That's always been the same way. Yeah. Cable's the same way. Yeah. No, buy, yeah, they you don't do get to buy packages. five channels. You got to buy a whole package. Yeah. Yeah, but they they really are too. That their packaging bundles are trash. <laughs> they get you. I don't know. It's, like I said, you think it's all about finding the pack the bundles that, that you, you want. Yeah. That you want. Yeah. Like I I haven't been too. Let's see. I'm trying to think of something. There. I mean, there's once in a while there's something that will come up that I don't get to watch. But there's specific series, like I think you need to find a something that releases a lot of content that you're going to watch. Yeah. So, for instance, like I have Crunchyroll and see, and, or I, and I and, and I you can't need get like, Crunchyroll because most of everything, and that's what they do focus on, is more of just Japanese subs, subs, right? And I do subs. Yeah. I don't care for the dub version that much. Like I'll watch them and they're sometimes fine. though. That th- my thing is like I'll be doing other things and I can't like be like Those sitting the there only... like i have to really yeah i have to watch read the whole no guys don't talk to me i need to li- why well, read everything i mean don't, and then i think it's a little easier for me too because i'm really good at just reading off this you know but I some, no i wouldn't even be looking at the tv sometimes sometimes i'll be like doing some else oh, no, i'll know. just be listening to the i'm talking yeah, when, and then... when i do the listen ones it's rough because especially then for anime i don't like to do anime that way because unless it's something i've already seen yeah. In which case, I'll watch in English and watch it in the background, like Dragon Ball Z or some old anime. I don't like to watch new anime like that because my whole point of watching the anime is to see the animation with the voice acting. Mm-hmm. Especially new anime where oh, the animation yeah. is worth watching. Yeah. You know, back in the day, who really gave a crap? You know what I mean? You, you People would fan draw better shit than they put mm-hmm. out on TV. Nowadays, you know what I mean, especially with like Demon Slayer or oh, yeah, those uh, How ones. to Not Summon a Demon Lord is another one of my favorite ones, or How to Not, uh, or How to, or Not, uh, Why Picking, what is it, Why Picking Up dun- Chicks in the Dungeons, right? There's a bunch of them. Uh, that just have amazing art, you know what I mean? The visually stunning fight scenes. Uh, Dragon Ball Super is not one of them, but. I wish it was. Dragon Ball Super Brawly is, though. It got better towards the end. It did, but it still wasn't worth, but they, like... I mean, I do give them, like... I mean, a little... Because they are all, were all brand new artists that they got to do this project. I mean, I give them... That was Akira's that's, that's, decision. Yeah, so. and that's fine. <laughs> but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's not a good product. It's not worth no. the time to sit and watch and, and visually see. The, the manga looks better. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, Brawly did look good though. And Brawly looks great, and that's why I would say I can technically well, make maybe that. Maybe now difference. they will um, be a lot, um, a lot better. I, I really hope they're investing. 
She's supposed to be coming out. Are soon. they coming? That's I, my I, cousin. My cousin's the one that loves. Dra- he would I've know. been trying to and keep. And he's up. like, yeah, they're coming out the new one. Like, oh, they are. My guy hasn't heard any news, and he's been, uh, he's been up on it. Yeah, my my cousin loves it. Like he's, <laughs> like he dude, sometimes he he goes a little too, but he's like he does his workout and does like his motos all Goku, you know. Like, that's but that's he's, he's cool. I like that. But, uh, that's funny. It's funny because I've been just doing le- listening recently, mostly at work. But it'll be when I'm working and stuff. I'll do these Dragon Ball what ifs from the Abridged series, guys. And he's the guy I get most of my Dragon Ball news from now because he works with the uh, American side of it because he does voice acting now. Oh, okay. Uh, but like he went to play uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in Japan like five or six months ago when it came out. In Japan, he got to like do a big review for it on the channel, that looks which pretty good. I might end up getting. I'm gonna get that one for sure. I haven't I get gotten, most I haven't Dragon gotten Ball Z any games. of the Dragon Ball Z games since Budokai because I didn't. Xenoverse was pretty good. That, the um, only one I did want to get was the the one Fighter Z. Yeah, was the, Fighter Z is. I liked. I wanted to play a different because t- I like those two. I, I I do like uh, the thing is I don't like the three D fighting motion. I like the three D character. Yeah. But I don't like the th- the 3D fighting motion. I like sky fighting and the 2D that Budokai had. Yeah, Budokai. But I like yeah. the 3D modeled characters yeah. in the 2D uh, platform. I heard though this one's better too for uh, fighters. Competition wise, too fighting games like Budokai. Fighter Z what? is actually yeah. Budokai all of the Budokais, really all of the fighter. Dragon Ball Z games are shitty fighting games. Yeah. They're they're easily spammable. There's no good mechanics for actually fighting and doing counters or combos. So plus they did get a good Japanese uh, voice. You know, yeah. No, no, the sorry, the d- developers do because oh, they, yeah. they did do some. Oh, they did cool the, the ones who did Capcom did that one. Yeah. You can tell because the styles are basically the same. They did a different background art styling and like a way to overlay. The animations but... were cool too. I like. Oh yeah, that. and they didn't. They got a different animation team, but, but they, the I just don't get those kind of team. games because I end up probably playing them for about a week or two, and then I'm over it. The thing about those games is you have to have someone to play with consistently. Yeah, that's why. Like, that's why I say me and my me and my friend always get them, and even then we play for like two or three weeks yeah, where we'll play every day and grind it up and you're, you you're get done. to the point where you're like oh right this is just a grind fest i'm like level especially nowadays those fighter games are all like level up this character to get moves and it's like well do i want to level 30 characters up to level 100 and then yeah. do all the super this, special moves this one's got more going on to it and this it's one's just got, like supposed to be open world yeah that's why i fun. got more that's why it's not like the other ones where it was like you can fly around but this one really is truly open world now and right and that's what like my brother was like well you know they had other open stuff in like xenon i was like no it wasn't open world this is is like red dead meets dragon ball z kind of that you can go fishing and you can go do this and that and this and that it's It's like like an rpg mix with the open world yeah yeah where you can like that's what i want yeah and that's what i'm hoping it really like comes down to is like they've gotten a real and I'd be okay with, like, a semi-open map system. So you would have, like, a medium-sized open world area exploration, right? Like, let's say, um, Kami's Lookout. And it's all of Kami's Lookout. Like, the top, down to Corrin's have Tower. Have showed how big the map is yet? I don't think they... They probably have. I just wasn't paying that much attention to it. I was more just focused on gameplay and visuals and stuff. Yeah, I did see they can do fishing. Yeah, they like said there's a lot of different stuff, man. They, it looks like Breath of the Wild meets actually more than uh, more than Red Dead Breath of the Wild meets Dragon Ball Z, I'd say. No, that's, yeah, that's why I wanted to get this one because, again, I, I didn't really like the Tenkaichi ones where they were like that. Free. I didn't... I kind of like those ones, but I, I think they would be better... Like I said, with the, the combat, the thing is the combat style looks way better in this, in this game one, yeah. than they did in those ones. I, I felt like those games were all throwaways as far as combat. It was about the story animations for the first two Tenkaichi's. You can even like go back and watch them. It's it's mostly like about going through these little parts of the story and things. Mm-hmm. The second one, you had like these other side fights you could do while you were searching for the Dragon Ball or third, sorry, you could search around and. Hmm find the dragon balls and have that little open world and then be on namek and have the open world but once again it wasn't really open world it was like a map world yeah and i think you need a combo of the two of a map world that you use to travel to an open world area so from like kami's lookout to the plains to the deserts to the antarctic to a to south city yeah. to Let's goku's house I mean, area or the mountains and then, um there's one more thing i was gonna say yeah, about now i want to go look up how big that map is one last thing I was gonna say about it, but uh, 
I mean, oh, that's also two I wanted to get was because I guess there was some new uh, additional story that's never been told in this game, and mm. um, there's supposed to be a lot going on. There's so, a lot. I wonder how they're going to reveal and do. And the graphics look actually really fucking I, good I for think being, they polished it. you know, just animation and you know. Characters. Well, they kept they're, it in that cell shading style, which I thought was really cool with the animation. You know what I mean? So yeah. It looks very Dragon Ball Z while being 3D. Ish, like, yeah. 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 Which they did in some of the old Tenkaichi games, but not but to they this look level. Too... You can tell they were too they look, Yeah, that's why I said they look very but blocky. To be to fair, me. you got to remember those came out in yeah. 2000 yeah, something yeah but this looks very good i'm excited this even looks better than the z universe because that came out how long ago already three or four years now what uh dragon ball z universe yeah Z-universe. uh oh, the right. original z universe is probably even longer probably like oh six. they came out with two yeah that's yeah. right i forgot the jesus two came out last year i think or the year before yeah now that i'm thinking about it i think those graphics were not as great yeah so like These let's take a look ten we'll, times let's ch- take me. a real quick look at the z universe 2 gameplay graphics like like said my cousin played all those he's like yeah i gotta buy all these games <laughs> i i we got them all and played them too but so let's take a look here we got you know i think they did less cell shading so it's real shading so he has the lighting and then he has some slight cell shading but he's mm-hmm. got real light shading going all the way down the armor and up to here and then the ultra settings on pc settings uh, probably. I mean, that's what it said def- right there. It is, but is my phone displaying <laughs> oh, yeah, it yeah. at at ultra? Probably not, especially considering it's an Android. Only has such a decent screen. This one's not too bad. This one actually looks better. But once again, there's just so much going on here that makes it look non Dragon well, Ball. Well, even the like, background's not very well done to me. To tell you, it, it looks. Uh, it well, one. I think it's a background. I think it's not oh. rendered. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. For, for people at home, what that means is it's actually like a flat picture behind him. Probably with a little bit of 3D running like this. As opposed to uh, an actual 3D map. This part actually looks like it might be a 3D map there. And this part does too over here. But I think that other one we saw Raditz and he might have been in the cutscene or something. Because like here... A lot of that looks almost like a flat picture. Mm-hmm. It might not be. Sorry, I mean, they can't see on a thing, but it, it's basically the truth. They know well, it is. Yeah, I mean, it comes out January seventeenth, so it looks good. Nah, and, I want to see. That. I mean, before we go, any last I mean, the movies you're excited for the year then, huh? Um, I mean, there's all kinds of ones coming out this year, but really, like I said, I'm really well, excited. Like, for what's your top one though? Hmm, the most excited this year. Problem is, then I'll mix up stuff coming out next year. Um, so we know Wonder Woman, Black Widow, we got Ghostbusters, Busters, Birds of Prey stuff, which is actually King, uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. In is that this year? Yeah, so November. Yeah, yeah, it might be that one. Might date. be my one. Even though they haven't had any release stuff for it, like if they keep it to the level that King I mean, Kong. They, and... If you go on their Facebook, they've released pictures but pictures that's count. about uh, that's about it pictures don't count boss logic makes better shit than that every day so there's um, there's all that happening um what else then there's that i mean yeah, i'm kind of excited to watch the new here's a uh, picture of dbz kakarot look at this hair shading <laughs> see i like it looks better the, the flat hair shading is so much better like it has it at the edges but so for those lines that they're doing the vegetas there <laughs> i mean it's still early stuff Harold getting excited. Yeah, it's because the other dogs are. Oh, there we here. go. There we go. That's way better. Yeah, like see, the I like flat that. cell shading, the animation, and you can still tell he's 3D. He still got the little like you know shading on the ears yeah, and outside. That's great to me. I think it's good. Oh so. man, are they? Did they redo that? They did redo that intro, didn't they? Yeah, they did the. I that was one of the best parts. The whole thing, yeah. I think that was one of the best parts of the original Tenkaichi, and I even saw like I was watching some let's plays on it the other mm-hmm. day. Uh, was the fact that they recreated a lot of those classic scenes and fight scenes with that 3D instead of like skipping it like they did in other Budokais, where it would be like, oh, where you're fighting Vegeta and doing the beam blast, but we're gonna kind of skip that scene. But in the original one, they did like a whole cinemagraphic basically of the beam mm. battle. Uh, at least the short version of the beam battle. You know what I mean? 
Let me see before we go then. 2020 movies, I guess. Then right, like I said, trying to remember all the ones that actually come out in 2020. Mulan. Mulan actually, it's a good one. Um, Onward. Um, Tenet. Tenet. Yeah, Tenet's not gonna be bad. Tenet. Bad Boys. Oh yeah, for, that's actually February, I think. Or yeah, it's I think it's February. Furious Nine, really? Yeah, I yeah, they come with that one. I'm but actually, I don't. Uh, the Rock's right. not gonna be in this one, I think. That's all right. Uh, what do we got? I kind of am excited for the Sonic. Oh, New Mutants. There we go. And the Mutants really that did, one's my, did actually gonna be my one. one too. I'm real high. I kind of I kind of want to know see uh, Bill and Ted number three though. That's gonna That's be, true, but like, I, I, well, the problem August, is August the release. problem is those ones like I'm hyped for, but it's that long simmering hype, and it's the same way for the uh, the other one, the uh... Quiet Place Two. No, it's coming out. Yeah, oh, well, what, what other one? What was it? Uh, not Mulan. Bad Boys. Where it's been so many years since oh, the last one. Yeah. That, like, yes, I'm very excited and that would be my best number one if it hadn't been 20 years since the last movie is released. <laughs> Quiet Place 2 is coming out. I'm, I'm excited. I guess, yeah, they're doing, the King, they're doing other Kingsman. But it, Kingsman. I don't think it's going to be that I heard again. this one's not going to be... Like, Leo is super not excited for the, the Artemis, Artemis Fowl. Yeah, uh, he thinks it's you know, cool. watching the trailer, that, it looked very weird to me. Like the, But I think the original one is really I weird. know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I'd probably read that book. <laughs> <laughs> it, be, uh, it looks like that. Duels, I think it's gonna be. But cool. maybe the book does a better job of explaining right. everything much it, better. It might but, be, yeah. Well, it has more. I mean, time books and always do better. The books so, are always better. Let's I mean, be honest. I don't think there's ever been a version. Harry Potter probably is the only one. Like they think from fans that said that the. I've never heard no? a single fan say no? okay. not someone who's actually read, read the, books, the books. I know they've to cover. Left a lot of things out, but that's like so much information. They're, to, it's, they're big books for sure, yeah. but they're better for it. There's so much more context and information than you get in the movies yeah like just so much better shit and even like to the point where they had to split that second movie like oh yeah that's that, that being was... the other thing movies aren't meant to tell sagas like that like even the lord of the rings is very similar like this last one they that's the probably the, the first hobbit. time they ever did it right they split one book into three movies yeah because the, the hobbit, hobbit is was, one book yeah, and it's shorter than every movies, other yeah. lord of the ring book in existence it is the shortest lord of the rings book and they split it into three movies, and that's the only series I think that's ever it's like done a series it of stories, though, right? When no. you wrote these, oh well, uh, no, just the similar outcome. The uh, which I he wrote when, first. Okay, I thought when Tolkien wrote them, they were more of like mm-hmm. um, it wasn't like a cohesive. Nope. Kind of, no, they're like super these, cohesive. Hey, these guys no, are here, nope. and then okay, now we're no, yeah, okay. no, 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 no. I don't know where you heard that. He designed the entire Elven language before he ever wrote the first Lord of the Rings book. He designed the entire cosmology of the Lord of the Rings before he wrote the first Hobbit book. It's it's insanity, bro. Like, the Simulacrum is longer than every other Lord of the Ring book combined. It's huge. Venom 2. No, oh, really? Yeah, that's supposed to. We'll, we'll I haven't see. heard anything about it we'll yet. See. I mean, we know about Woody Harrelson already, but... Well, you know who's directing it, right? No, no. The guy who did Golem. I forget. I can never say his name right. The guy does all of the um, motion yeah. capture for all the oh, characters. Oh, I don't know. And he did Planet name. of the Apes. He does all kinds. Uh, did, Caesar, uh, not Caesar, but yeah, he did Caesar yes, from Planet of the Apes. They saying he's supposed to be doing it. I'm he does all kinds of kinda shit. Kind of glad he's going to, because if he's gonna do the the motion for the motion capture for some of the the and he's circus. Yeah, that's very awesome. That's him. Yeah. I did hear about that, yeah. He's yeah. supposed to be one of the ones. I forgot about that. He's also supposed to be in the Batman. He's Alfred. Yeah, that's what I was hearing too. With Robert Pattinson, which I don't see him as, but yeah, he's Colin a talented Farrow actor. The penguin. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not. I'm going to reserve my judgment because we'll see. You know, I, one, I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they're doing it just like Joker, where it's going to be uh, totally different, and it looks like it is. They're, they're supposed to say that this Batman has army experience. That this Batman has. Yeah, so we'll see. So this one already looks like a totally different. It looks like they're running with the Elseworld shit, and I'm fine with that. Conjuring you know I mean? three, make a good movie. That's the number one thing. The soul. I don't think there's anything Scoob. on there gonna pull away from new viewers. So. Scoob, Scooby Doo movie. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. you ever seen the trailer? Like, I haven't. I don't. No, I have seen the trailer. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, forgot that one. Yeah, that one. Out. Oh yeah, Halloween Kills is supposed to come out. Really, another. Geez. Well, he didn't die, didn't he? He never dies. He never dies. Even when he dies. But uh, 
He's just like, yeah, he when he does. Know, yeah, because I know Jamie Lee Curtis has been posting things up of her saying. I'm sure it's. Uh, it, in, oh, this the last one he was doing posted. another coming to America. Supposedly, this is. I don't know if this is coming out this year, but oh, it was, I don't know. Bloodshot. Uh, there's a lot of this. Diesel. Bloodshot. I did hear. Is that? Did they ever get? I thought, didn't they have a trailer out? Yeah. There? Did you see it? No. I don't think oh, you check it out. It actually, looks pretty maybe brutal. We'll, maybe we'll end on the trailer for that. that and then, like I idea. said, con, uh, oh, and then Jungle Cruise. <laughs> with rock, the rock there, why is it all about redoing old series nowadays man like all the remakes are oh and morbius did you see the leaks uh, Supposed, i we'll heard see if they we'll were see if they're legit when, right the trailers supposed, supposed to be supposed coming to be out coming. here soon yeah i saw that you post that but we'll see like i said because they've done that before where they've been like it's coming and then i mean remember when there was supposed to be a gambit trailer that's <laughs> oh yeah that was um that was uh. That was a while, and that's never going to probably happen now. Mm-hmm. Even though there was, like, a little incy-bitsy hope that it was. And no, it didn't. No, it's going to be. And then it was a little bit of that hope. Oh, Chatty, Chatty, and then, do it. No, the Chucky did. series is coming out. Hmm. Sci-Fi picked it up. Oh, I did hear about that. I I remember because someone posted it that it was like, that's where good series go to die. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they do okay sometimes. There's that one they I never, wanted to watch. They there never go the, big um, there from there. When was the last big sci-fi Channel series? Channel Six, you know? I think, was what it's called. Channel Six. It looked really like cre- like creepy. I wanted to watch it. I mean, I watched Face Off on there for a long time till they took that off. And then that was about it. Oh, and then uh, Lock and Key for uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah I did see good. that one, and I was actually telling someone about it the other day because I was like, yeah. "It's not a pretty bad graphic now. You should check it out." Yeah. But yeah, there's that, got a bunch of those got. ones. That's not too bad. I think we've got... Like I said, I think the New Mutants still just takes for me. The way they came back from basically not having anything to, like, giving me my favorite trailer of X-Men I've ever seen. There's news, too, they were saying it's supposed to be connected to the MCU. I I mean, we'll see how they do it. And I think they want to, but I don't know how they're going to... Like I said, I think it would be cool to have it, like I said, as the secret is, like, there are mutants, but the government's keeping it under wraps, and nobody knows. The mutants were in facilities when... You know, Endgame and other stuff were happening, or other world crises were happening, so they could never help. Mm-hmm. Or the other one that I really liked, the someone, someone suggested to me when they brought the people back, they came back with mutant powers. That one was <laughs> I was kind of mad on that one. I liked the other one though, where it was the idea was that uh, the mutants had done this and this, but a bit, but essentially Charles Xavier had deemed it they could not live in coexistence, and he had wiped the minds uh, mutants from the mind of every person on the yeah. planet, which would be. 100% within feasible powers of the MC or the original uh, Fox's version of him with Cerebro do. He was able to stop every person on the planet, freeze them in time, change memories. It mm-hmm. was insane. He was almost more powerful than he was in the comics. He's not as powerful in the comics a lot of the time. I, I, I would have liked that one because it plays on the idea of Professor X, one, being a very powerful person. So that he can stand toe to toe with these. One, I want. I also want the Illuminati. So you need to have Professor X for the Illuminati. So you there's some. Got, uh, there's some name or. Uh, I. That's the other one. News coming out for, about that. They're supposedly either getting his own because they already have him cast. Well, they want to do. They're thinking that he's Wakanda. probably gonna do. Yeah, the yeah, Black the Panther too. I really the... think he would be the best villain to like. I think it would be interesting to have it like we've accidentally disturbed an ancient civilization. I would like if he just would be kind of be the villain, but then in the end they. He yeah, he ends up being on. a hero, actually. I think it would be cool to think that he's a villain, but he's actually a hero, so it's like, you know, it's like, we have invaders. Dung, 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 and or, they're, like, invading, the Atlanteans are invading mm-hmm. or something, or the other way around, for whatever reason, and it turns out he's, like, keeping evil sea shit at bay. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not fighting you, dumbass. I'm fighting this monster, and the Kraken pops out. You know what I mean? So that'd be cool if they if, do that. There's news of that coming out. Um, that would also news of something else in the WandaVision show that was out there. Uh, I can't remember what the news was, but yeah, There's I did a hear it. character supposedly coming out in there too as well. New char- let's see. Uh, let's just see. Let's see Marvel news. I guess we'll just wait today for one because we're already at, I think, 30 or 40 minutes. Well, if you want to look up that, then we'll, we can call it. See, oh, actually, we're already in an hour. All right, well, look for that, and then we call it. Yeah, we'll Marvel <laughs> News, WandaVision. Uh, but no, that's a good way to end it anyway. That's not too bad either. What time is it? It's two? Yeah, yeah about, about three, two. It's not too bad. When was this? Remember? Okay. See so a few months ago until it launches on the 31st of March. So that does come out this year. Okay. Uh, the most anticipated shows will be debuting... 
having previously been earmarked for a spring 2021 release. That's probably oh, the news is that it's releasing. What it was. Yep, the news was first revealed in which the glimpse set to launch 20 with first looks at a Lizzie McGuire reboot and the Mandalorian season two. Yeah, so this is definitely the news is that it got pushed up. Okay. So maybe that's why Hawkeye has been pushed back. Yeah, so... Um, this is followed up by a tweet from the official Disney Plus account which confirmed the news of the series would come later in 2020. Is okay. this not what 2020 vision means here? Looking toward blockbusters future. Oh yeah, that's what mine was too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. So, like I said, I knew you had posted, but I couldn't remember what it was, and I knew, I was like, if you look it up, it'll just come up. Uh, we do know that we don't know what it's about, but that it'll consist of only six episodes. Oh shit! No wonder it's coming so soon. And I we'll mean. See. It's supposed they, to be a prequel. They're getting so. the main actors to play. I mean, yeah, I assume so that's that they much wouldn't money, want yeah. to do like a full. No, like, that's a lot of money for yeah. those, and they wouldn't want to do it. And uh, they've got some pretty big other people coming in. They've got uh, Tiana P- Paris. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, they got a grown-up uh, Monica. Uh, what's her name? Uh, with Rom Rambo. Rambo. Yep. So that people are already like, oh shit, Spectrum or... Uh... Oh, from Miss Marvel? They're tying that into WandaVision? Yeah, a little bit. She was in there. They have uh, an adult. What's her... What's... I thought she was in there. Because she was in from Captain Marvel. Remember, she was there. And then now this is her daughter. Now there's the grown-up grown in the her... show. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I just don't know but why yeah, she would be in this show. I, you know, I'm not either, but that's what they're saying. They also have... Uh, Kat Dennings, Randall Park, the guy, the... Let's uh, see if he'll tell you. I already know this guy. Randall Park is a a man of the Wasp, uh, the Fed agent, the funny federal agent. He's my favorite character from that series, the movie. He's the guy. It's like, how does the magic trick work, Is that the Asian guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that guy. He's from the Fresh Off the Boat. Yeah. He's awesome. Uh, then Catherine I think that's Han. actually what started his career, was that, that show. <laughs> I think, uh, no, he's been in stuff for many, he? many years. Because that, many, and then he did another years. movie on Netflix yeah. that I really liked him on. No, he's only really getting big. He's always yeah. been a side Asian guy, but yeah, just real quick to double check, but I think I've seen that guy for many years in movies. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Go down, see all. No, no. Photos. I want to see filmography. Come on. If I can get anything to load on IMDb, which it never wants to. <laughs> yep, there's his related news on WandaVision. All filmography. Uh, yeah, see, like, the good. first WandaVision set pictures give us a glimpse of Monica around. That's dope. So that's who that is. Yeah, he's been around for a little while. So I'm curious, yeah, if, she, if they're going to go, go all the way with Reno 911. That's where he got his start pretty okay. much. 2003. <laughs> I can't believe how, how buff this guy got. Holy for shit. Character. For Eternals? Yeah. yeah, dude. Holy shit. You didn't see it? No. no. To be fair, he's been hanging out with... Uh, the the nerds? It's no, he's been, hanging, he's been hanging out with... Uh, he's been in two or three different movies and projects with fucking Dave Bautista. That's yeah, he probably did that how he got his dumb. role in Eternals, bro. He did stub. Oh, he did. That's just one. He's been in another movie with the other one he did. Ah, I can't remember. But they've been in some yeah, other shit we'll, together. We'll look yeah, over, yeah we're, we're out of time Other than today. that, then, I just <laughs> want to tell you that, yeah, that she was supposedly supposed that's to be cool. in this. That's cool. I'm excited, too, for the Eternals, although I don't know who the, they're going to get him to play at all. Oh, he's going to be, uh, whatchamacallit, um, he's just the fast guy, I think. Really? He's yeah, going to be I, him? Let me see. Let me see. He's going to be the racer? What's his name? A turn, or uh, no, Makaro. Or, um, um, Mc- Mikaro? That's the fast one from the Eternals. I but what's the actor's name? Kumail Najin? I can do that. I'm not going to see him. It's here. Kumail. Nah. Yeah, here, here's the list of who they all are playing. Let's see. Maybe we'll, he's playing we'll do somebody that. else. Nanjiani. Oh, Kingo. He's playing Kingo. Kingo? Kingo. Kingo, Kingo. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, I don't even know Kingo off top. I know Icarus. The kind yeah, of there we go. Nina. Icarus is the one that was the fast one, right? Uh, No, Makari is the fast yeah, one. Fast one? Macari. Okay, see, I don't that know. One, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could tell already he's like that. <laughs> no, he said you can look at a lot of them and see. Uh, Ajax, no one cared about. I know she was playing Dina, cared. but a lot of people thought she's going to play somebody else. Damn, a lot of these people don't have a lot of history, so they can do whatever they want with a lot of these guys. Like, the Eternals don't have a huge portion And then of there's well, one of these characters is supposed to be a transgender character. So I'm pretty sure they're doing Macari because Macari is originally a guy. That okay. Does not look like oh, a guy playing him. Okay. We'll see. Unless they decide that would be the easiest way to go, though. I don't know. I mean, but uh, yeah, that's all right. But uh, that'll be us it. for today. We remembered to turn on the audio. Yay! We'll catch you guys next week for episode ninety-nine.
of 